is life. Time to think. List any four activities that pollute water bodies. All living things need water to stay alive. Without water, there would be no life. Water helps us to digest food, remove waste from the body and maintain our body temperature. Uses of water We need water for drinking. We must drink at least 8 glasses of water daily. Farmers need water to grow crops. We need water to clean our house and other things. Some factories need water to make things we use. We need water in cooking food. Water is used in washing clothes and utensils. In India, rivers and other water bodies are an important part of religious festivals such as Chhat Puja in Bihar and boat races during the Onam festival in Kerala. Animals also need water to drink, bathe and to stay cool. In hot days, some big animals like hippopotamuses, elephants, buffaloes, etc. stay in water for a long time to keep their body cool. Water bodies like rivers, seas and oceans are also used to move from place to place by boats or ships. Plants need water for their growth and to prepare their food. Plants get water from soil through their roots. Plants will dry if they will not get water. Nitty gritty animals like the cola of Australia never drink water. Sources of water Rain is the main source of water. Rain water is often considered the cleanest form of water. But when it falls from the clouds, it gets mixed up with dust and gases present in the air. This makes rain water dirty. We get water from rivers, lakes, ponds and wells. These sources of water are filled with rain water. Water found under the ground is called groundwater. Rain water trickles or seeps down from the top layer of the soil and rocks and collects as groundwater. We can get groundwater by digging wells. Farmers draw water from the wells through a tube well for irrigation purposes. Sometimes hand pumps are used to draw water from a well. Wells are still dug in many villages for water. Water at homes. In cities, water reaches our home through pipes. Before it reaches our homes, water from rivers and lakes is collected and cleaned in big water treatment plants. Then it is pumped into a water tank. From there, it is sent through pipes to our homes. Water shortage When people have less water than what they need for their daily activities, we say there is a water shortage. As a result of water shortage, Water is not freely available for household use. There is less water to grow crops. There is even a shortage of electricity. If this condition continues for a year or two, we say that we are facing a drought. Forms of water Water has three different forms. Gas When water evaporates and has no definite shape or size, it is known to be in the form of gas. Solid when water becomes very cold and freezes, it is known to be in solid form. Liquid When water takes the shape of the container, it is poured in. It is in liquid form. Liquid How can we save water? Water is very important for us. It is said that water is precious. Here are given some points that should be kept in mind to conserve water. Check for the leakages and stop them. Do not leave the taps on. Use water wisely. If some water is left after washing clothes, we can use it for cleaning floors. Do not take bath directly under the tap. Take bucket and mug to take a bath. Take only as much water as you need to drink. Waste water from RO can be used for washing and cleaning. Nitty gritty, never waste water. 
Many people have to wait in a queue for hours to get even drinking water. Rainwater harvesting. It is a process by which rainwater is collected and stored for later use. Rainwater is cleaned by filtration and is stored in an underground tank. It is a great way of storing rainwater. Water cycle. Due to the heat of the sun, water from rivers, seas and lakes change into water vapor. This is called evaporation. Water vapor goes up in the sky to form clouds. This is called condensation. Sometimes the clouds become heavy with lots of drops. These drops fall as rain or snow. This process is called precipitation. Rainwater falls into the seas, rivers and lakes and fills them. This water gets heated again by the sun and changes into water vapor. This cycle of changing water into water vapor and again into water goes on and on.